It's the size of the Aries Design HQ that delivers the initial surprise. We're in an industrial estate on the northern outskirts of Medina, Italy, on a mission to hear the latest of Danny Beher, the former Lotus chief forever remembered for launching five new sports cars at once. For falling out very publicly with his Malaysian employers, and later for founding an Italy-based vehicle customization business as a way of moving on. Invited to visit the latter, we've been imagining Aries occupying a couple of industrial units in the back blocks, but the reality is an 18,000 SQ meter former Fiat Alfa Lancia dealership complete with three stories of modern buildings. A showroom and acres of parking and workshop space, plus another 10,000 SQ meters of spreading space in reserve, all of it identified by impressive totems bearing Aries' script, and the ancient Greek god of war's helmet for our logo. There's irony in both. When Beher and a handful of friends sat down to discuss what to do post Lotus, they soon agreed they had no further appetite for corporate employment. They resolved to start a car customization business in the world headquarters of car craftsmanship, choosing work that would avoid what Beher now describes as the misery of homologation. Using the slings and arrows of recent experience to avoid pitfalls and fighting hard to make it work. Hence the Aries name and helmet. We gather in a large white showroom labeled Aries Atelier and scattered with modern furniture. On the other side of a covered apron is a line of cars in progress, visible through glass doors. We linger over coffee until Beher appears, seemingly no older than he was in 2010. A diminutive figure made larger by the presence he has always carried. He smiles, welcomes us and immediately starts talking business, Aries has been going since 2014. During which time it has improved around 300 vehicles, and has established itself as a profitable entity with a £27 million annual turnover and strong prospects. The requirements of clients are developing as fast as the business itself, he tells us, from initially providing individuals with new trim and body decor for their cars. Aries's work now requires much more specialist design and engineering. A launch staff of five has progressed to 110, most of them engineers or died in the wool northern Italian artisans. In a nutshell, says Beher, Aries is positioning itself as a concept to creation coach building facility, where you, Mr. Well Healed customer, arrive with a car and idea, and then use the in house creativity of Aries's people to turn it into whatever you want. The only limits are that, whatever the company does respects safety and certification. Baker notes two fast developing trends, one is that unique cars sometimes seem so desirable, when finished that with the original owner's permission, and an adjustment of cost, there's a demand, to progress them into batches of 5 to 15 cars. The other is a fast expanding desire among classic car owners, to maintain the looks of dearly loved cars while equipping them with modern suspensions, brakes, engines, ventilation, and connectivity. It's an accelerating trend, says Beher. We're not reinventing the wheel, he says, but this business is leading us to a position we never expected. Dot we cross the concrete apron and start to walk the production line, if that's the right word for a line of expensive cars that don't move. We tune up on a couple of conventional projects, a Mercedes S-Class and B-Class that are in for wood, leather and connectivity improvements, and then we encounter one of Aries's true stars, a Bentley Brooklyn's too long door coupe, that started life as a four-door mold sand saloon, and still uses its wheelbase and seating package. It's beautiful, the more so, if you've heard other designers explain how hard it is to make long coupes look right. Aries has orders for seven of these, at £640, 000 a pop, and may do as many as 15. Suddenly, it's easier to see how a £27 million annual turnover can be earned. Next up is a massive iteration of the Mercedes G63. Reskinned in carbon fiber, which reduces weight by 200 kilograms. It's called the Aries Designed 9 X Ray, but still registered and certified as a Merc G, and is priced similarly to the Bentley. 
Although when you see it standing there, expensively clad in carbon fiber with its detached dashboard and trim showing the complexity of the interior work to come. The total job seems almost cheap. Although Aries avoids full compliance testing like the plague, it encourages inspectors from Germany's Tough Standards Agency to check its workmanship. This X-Raid has had a grand total of 8 visits to verify its integrity and Bayer's happy with that. Tough verification impresses registration authorities across Europe and in far-flung Australia and Japan. We stroll on, past Aries's vision of a Porsche 911 GT3 Targa, which offers a Targa's open-air convenience, but GT3 RS body details. This one has had extensive suspension changes. A power upgrade 470 bhp to 580 bhp widened tracks, re-sculpted bumpers, a custom exhaust and center lock wheels, and will set you back £300,000 plus, depending on spec. Very decorative, highly modified Land Rover Defenders seem to be parked everywhere, mainly because Aries is in the process of building a 53 off batch for a British client. Powered either by modified Rover V8s or by newer, supercharged Jaguar Land Rover V8s. Much of the underskin engineering has been done by Coventry based specialist Jim Motor Works, whose founder and kingpin Jonathan Douglas happens to be present in Medina on separate engineering business. We mainly operate under the radar, he tells me.